already a good day and welcome my name is mr jb and today we're going to be going through another photo p tutorial today we're going to be going through creating a light effect as you see it on the thumbnail we're just kind of creating a beam of light or a section of light that will kind of shine through our image now this is a in my opinion, the best way to make this work and the best way to make this look uh, for the most realistic effect without ru ruining the, the image itself and adjusting the colors and kind of changing some of that stuff. So to begin, we are going to make a shape. So we're going to right click on our shape and we're going to create a line. Now with that, we are going to make sure that our fills are both full and they are both white in color. Now, both white in color and you'll probably want to adjust your stroke size. Depending on your image, you might want to make it bigger, smaller. Now, I'm just going to end up drawing this right over top of Leon's face. And boom. Now, if I wanted that bigger, I'd just adjust my stroke size. So let's say I want to have that quite a bit bigger. I'd make it 40. Then I've got a significantly larger space. Now, just for this effect so we can see how good it is, we're going to make it 60 just for as large as we want. Bam. Now, with that color or that image, we are going to rasterize it. So we're going to right click on it once we've made it and we are going to go to rasterize. From there, we are going to change our color overlay and we are going to change it to soft light to see how it looks. Now, it's not changing everything in terms of that darkness, but maybe we try hard light. Do white, try vivid light, try linear light, and try our, our pin light. Now, none of, none of those have really kind of changed anything. So we know that we are either going to be dealing with overlay or we are going to be dealing with soft light. Now, depending on what you want, depending on how you want your light to look, you can choose either one of those options. With that chosen, yeah, we've got a beam of light and it looks okay, but we can make this look a lot better. So with that, we are going to create a duplicate of our layer. You're going to do control J, control J. And with that control J, we are going to turn off one of our layers with our top layer. We are going to go to filter. We're going to go over to blur and we are going to go to Gaussian blur. And with that, it's going to kind of blur the outside edges rather than keeping it looking like it's just a straight section or a straight light. It kind of makes the light look a little bit more realistic. As you can tell, we started off with a very straight light and depending on how far you pull this out, we'll kind of get rid of that light and kind of make it a little bit more blurry. Now you could do this just to lighten up a section of a face or you could do this to get that true light effect. Now there, that's looking a lot better than when we started with our, our hard line. Having that blur on the outside of that truly makes this look more realistic. As you can tell, the face looks lighter, but it doesn't look like it's lost a lot of saturation. We click OK. Now, the only reason we have our original layer is just so that way we could kind of see what that effect looks like once we do that. Yeah, the first layer looks cool, but it doesn't look realistic. Doing this extra Gaussian blur does make that look as realistic as we can. Now. With that, I'll turn this on and off just so you can see what we started with to what we have. Um, and that is truly all that we do to create this amazing light effect. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you learned something. Have a wonderful day, take care, and be safe.